Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of the Galen Darley's Pokemon Nuzlocke run. You may be wondering why is everything going so fast and that is because there was an unfortunate hiccup with the audio. And so since the audio was unusable, um, basically the whole episode was unusable unless I wanted to describe what was happening for like 30 minutes, but uh, that sounded incredibly boring and dull. So instead, we're speeding through this episode so that, again, you can see that it happened, you can see the awful things that happened during this episode, and then we can move on to the next episode uh, with a kind of a TLDR of what theoretically happened before we filmed it. Uh, the major things that happened was, um, unfortunately, Macbeth did die, um, a, a revenge hit, Fly didn't do as not enough, didn't do as much as I needed to, so poor Macbeth um, died. You can imagine the screams of sadness that uh, accompanied that. Um, and uh, we've defeated all the trainers in the gym, other than that unfortunate uh, event. Nobody else died. Uh, I brought on Cersei, the drowsy, who was in the daycare. And I believe that that's it for really anything important that happened. So, with that, we will continue on to the episode proper. Thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, enjoy the rest of the episode. Welcome back to Gale and Darling's Pokemon Nuzlocke Run. I'm Gale. And I'm nervous. Aren't we all? It's time. It's time. The final gym. Yep. The final gymothy. What, what if we just don't? We can live our lives <laughs> as peaceful trainers. I don't have to lose anyone else. <laughs> but we must. Fine. Do you know why? Why? Because we can. Uh, and I mean, what else is there to do? I guess. Just go breed Pokemon. We could just, you know, explore. <laughs> I we can't continue until someone gets a shiny. Finish, finish the Pokedex. I don't think we can until we get to Victory Road. We, we could, we could try. -na 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 -na. Giovanni, the greatest trainer. You're not even the greatest gym leader. He is the greatest gym leader. No, maybe in this gen. Yes. No, not even in this gen. Doc Watson's cooler. Doc Watson? What the wrong gen? Yeah. What's the what's the electric one in this one? Lieutenant Surge? Yes, he's better. <laughs> you didn't even remember he was here. Oh, level 45. Oh god. But it's okay, because you still one-shot it. Of course I did! <laughs> it's still level 45. Look, you know there's only two gym leaders I really care about. Oh, uh, it's level 50! <laughs> Mine's putting in- okay, he's putting Dugtrio on mine instead. Which is only 42, so 50 is definitely his highest. No, it is- I don't know, I don't think it is! Oh! Okay, Dugtrio has Earthquake. Oh yeah, he's just straight up trying to kill you. His Earthquake crit! <laughs> this is why Giovanni's the toughest one, because everyone else is like, Oh look, it's a, it's, a, you know, it's a young trainer, they probably don't have too much experience, I'll go a little easy on him. He's like, nope, Earthquake, let's just nip <laughs> this in the bud. I you, hate playing these games. You have hopes? That's funny, because I spent a lot of money on these badges to stay right here. <laughs> I've only ever bought five badges, <laughs> and they're all still here. Ugh. Needle Queen. Alright. Yes. Switch. Yeah. Needle Queen's 44. Um. <laughs> Don't die. Flamethrower. Breathe. <sighs> no. 
No, you're not gonna breathe? No! Okay, I guess you just don't Screw breathe. Screw you, I do what I want! It knows Earthquake! Good thing <laughs> Ahab's stronger than that! <laughs> and he still has super potions! He has hyper potions. Hyper yes. potions. Even worse. Surf! Surf, my beautiful Ahab, surf! Surf like you have never surfed before, young Cody Maverick. Keep wasting their hyper potions! Oh, yes, that's actually a really good point. Um, yeah, you know what? We'll just. We're bringing me to life, but we're bringing you down. Boo. I need to listen to more Evanescence before I make Evanescence jokes. I know like four <laughs> Evanescence songs. Uh, Nito King, I'm changing. I'm not leaving. Acid you out there. armor? Hmm. Uh, Edmund. Edmund! Sharply raised defense. That could be pretty useful. What do you think? Acid armor or haze? I like haze. So we can get rid of any, like, spamming minimize. You do you, man. I'm just gonna peck this king. Isn't it ground poison? Yeah. Okay. And your point being? Alright, and there's the Nido King. You say it like you pulled a Pokemon card, like, and there's the Nido King. I uh, mean, got it in first edition, now we're gonna place it in this, uh... And here we have a lovely, uh, third generation Nido King. Let's see, tell by the coloring that it definitely has some more pay attention to it. I'd say this is a uh, remarkable, I'd rate it as a 9. You make me laugh. You, you do know you need your mouth to face the microphone for those bits, yes, right? Yes, but I, I <laughs> don't... This is why I'm not going to be a YouTuber. Because when I talk to you, I look at you. I know! Which is why my audio is usually really bad. I know, but I just... I love watching you get really close and then you just tilt your head away. <laughs> and I'm just like, you... No, you... You go to the microphone and you project into the microphone for those bits. That's kind of why you get close to the microphone. Oh well, we all got the Earth Badge. And that's the end of the episode. That's, That's the it. end of this. We don't need to play Pokemon anymore. We beat it, right? We're, we're done. Nuzlocke is done now. We don't need to lose anyone else. We can just play the memorial and in the arms of the angel or something sappy. I'll find the royalty-free version. I'll play Taps on Ukulele. <laughs> that, okay, that might actually get me some hate mail. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, boyos. Good job. Ahab, Ishmael. Really I did that without using a legendary. I'm happy. Is that a dig? No. If I had a Doug Tree, I would be using dig. But I don't because I fainted it. <laughs> <sighs> uh, now time for the real battle. Actually, do we want to make a stop first? Where? I think we should go say hi to mom. You can go say hi to mom. I don't have anything to say to her. <laughs> oh, did you, uh... Did you forget that, uh... <laughs> Rival comes up? He pops up like, hello? I am your rival? <laughs> you forget that part? Read the room, <laughs> Gary. <laughs> and that's why, uh, that's why I said the real battle begins, and I didn't go in that direction because, uh, that's, that's too scary for me. I don't know what to do. Technically, I probably can defeat everything with Edmund. But his team's really scary. Between Thunder Wave and Shock Wave, which one does damage? Shock Wave does damage, Thunder Wave paralyzes. <sighs> Alright, I'll face him too. I won't be a chicken. Even though I'm the one who's gonna lose Pokemon. I mean, you also have... He withdrew? Oh no. Oh, he's smart! <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> My confidence has been going down and down 
It was pretty high after beating Giovanni, but... <laughs> she just... Ooh! <laughs> Critical hit! Yay! Nice. Good job, Edmund Spirit of Vengeance. Ah! Uh, and this is why. Possible thing. This is. This is. Uh, this is why we. Uh, rely <laughs> this on is why Edmund. we don't. This is why we let Gale go first. Why me go first? Uh, so that I remember <laughs> that there's a trainer battle here. No, there's a rival battle. Look. Look, I think uh, you deserve to get shocked every once in a while by Gary coming out of nowhere. I also love that we've been talking about you catching up, and now we're perfectly even. Well, I mean, in a sense. Fair, but like... Beating them within like a minute of each other, I'd say that's pretty even. Oh no. Why did I put in you? Because grass beats water? Yeah, but nine levels still is not great. Um, yeah. I could have put in my giant electric bird Pokemon. That would make sense. It would. I will risk it for this biscuit. Because I think I can get a lot of XP off of you, and I think it might be hard for you to one... Nope. It used Rain Dance. It its one-shot potential is really high. <laughs> Let's just... Okay. Come on, Zapdos, get her done. Or withdraw. Okay. <laughs> you again? Your Gary's being much more tricksy than my Gary. <laughs> Your Gary's pulling all the, like, switch outs. Uh, I mean, Gary... mine also has not used any potions. Is yours? No. Oh, wow. Yeah, what the hell, my Gary? <laughs> <laughs> my dude. Raw. What? What are you doing, my dude? This is a weird battle. I hate how underleveled I feel. And I could have taught Ophelia ha! Earthquake. The rain is on my side, you fool, you incompetent boob. But Earthquake uh, is very powerful, and I was worried about specifically this fight, and I didn't want to train Ophelia, like give Ophelia Earthquake if she was about to lose. Alakazam is just psychic? Oh, that hurts! Yes, it's just psychic. Okay. Why does your Growlithe hurt so much? Whoa, no! And now yours is the Trixie rival. No! Stop <laughs> it! No, this is awful! Please don't know Pursuit, Gyarados. Please, for the love of all that is good, don't know Pursuit. It can't, right? Okay, it didn't. It doesn't. Cut. Oh, jeez. Hydro pump. Oh, god. Shockwave it. Kill it, Edmund. Kill everything. That's why I have you, Edmund. This is why you're here. <laughs> so that you can just kill everything for me. Because I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like anything. Uh, I'll switch, but not for Ophelia. This is just a bite off now. I bite you, you bite me. I use Rain Dance. I want to see if my Surf does anything. Yeah, your Surf will probably do good. I'm surfing the Scrawlith. Uh. Stress we did not need. Alright, <laughs> final fight Venusaur versus. Edmund, because usually I'd say that's why I kept you in because I have water absorb. <laughs> absorb. <laughs> oh, that did so much nothing. No, I'm not putting Nikolai in against a 53 Venusaur. <laughs> not happening. I'm gonna just drill peck it. Can to you death. use water pump again? There we go. 
hydro pump. There is no water pump. Yeah, this is right outside. Boo! What was the last joke that I made that you laughed at? I I don't know. It's probably in this. Gary's just like I was. You just mm, I was just loosening up. It had nothing to do with the fact you had a legendary bird of thunder and lightning. Get on out of here with your freaking weird catchphrases and your freaking cloud stripe hair. <laughs> smell you later. Oh, I will smell you later. I will smell you. Yeah, I don't know why later. they thought that that was gonna be the cool hip phrase. Smell you later. Yeah, just like, yo, smell you later. Cause it implies. That sounds like a very Ninja Turtles thing, right? Yeah, it sounds like poorly written dialogue for a knockoff Tony Hawk game. <laughs> no, it sounds like the person at school who comes to tell you not to do drugs. Whoa, I'm the spirit of sixth grade. Alright. <laughs> quick, quick sidebar. At one point, we had someone come into, like, my sixth grade class to tell us why doing drugs was bad and tell us their life story because they were, like, they'd gone to that middle school. Mm -hmm. And they were, like, just out of college now. And accidentally started telling kids how to make drugs. That's rough. Because the kid, uh, one of, one of the kids that was my friend, he was, like, a skater punk middle schooler, right? And he was like, wait... What is that? You mentioned this drug. What is that one? And the guy's like, oh, so you take this and you distill it with this. You start making. Oh, and the teacher just like runs in front of him and cuts him off. Like, nope, not the place. <laughs> now is not the time for a drug lesson. Route 23. I feel like I shouldn't say it, but I kind of but like. It's probably obvious if you really think about it. Uh, you know, I went to college and got a degree in forensic science, and so part of forensic science, right, is the toxicology section where you have to learn to identify drugs. But in order to learn how to identify drugs, you have to know what makes the drug the drug, and so therefore it involves a level of learning how to make the drug. Is Route 23 a new route? Yes. Okay, so. So you, you, you like, obviously we don't you know, at least at my accredited college, in which they, they are not a criminal enterprise, they did not, like, try to teach us and, like, practice making the drug. But there was a level of understanding that if you really paid attention and, like, knew your stuff, they had basically <laughs> given you the instructions for how to make <laughs> the drugs. Yeah, that's why the first thing you learn is the ethics one. Because yeah. they have to, because you learn how to hide bodies, you learn how to kill people, Without them noticing, learn how to make drugs. Yeah. To learn how to find crime, you pretty much have to learn how to get away with crime. And that's why Forensic Science's motto is pretty much, if we were any smarter, we'd be serial killers. <laughs> Alright, so let's see what they have on this route. Yeah, what's on this route? Something cool. It's Ekans. It's Firo. I don't know if we can see anything new on here, actually. And I'm gonna Psychic. That sounds like, that sounded like a vomiting threat. I th I'm gonna vomit. Oh, I thought it was more like I'm going ghost, but like. <laughs> yeah. This is my Danny Phantom, OC Cersei the Drowsy. Gonna catch him all, cause he's ass catch him. <laughs> Ooh. Manky. I do not have a manky. You do not. I am going to catch the manky and teach it the piano or the hurdy gurdy. Yes, teach the manky. First, let's do some acid. This has got to be the most boring job ever. You just sit there and wait for trainers. Are with, you? <laughs> with a specific badge to come in. Well, thanks for joining us on <laughs> Game of Thrones with a Nuzlocke Adventure. Sorry the series had to end this way, <laughs> but you know, I <laughs> finally get a chance for a manky and I crit. Yep, that happens, you know? Okay, I feel like they're more like Walmart greeters. Where, you know, they serve a purpose, but really they're just there to, like, be friendly and just have a job. Yeah. Victory Road. 
Or they're like uh, the Salvation Army guys. Oh, the, yeah, they the bell just ringers. stand out. They they stand out there with a bell ringing. Just bring it, out your dead. But instead of like donating money, it's you show up. You donate your badges as you go into Victory Road. It's and, like the personal security guards for Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Because Dwayne the Rock Johnson has multiple personal security guards, but he's also Dwayne the Rock Johnson. I don't know if I ever want to be famous enough to need personal security guards. I really wanted to be a personal security guard for a long time. What is this? It's a button. Oh, I need to push something onto the button. Hey! Okay, Victory Road. What do we got? What do we got? It's an Onyx. I have you. Get out of here, you stupid rock snake, and get me something useful! We've what? lost the time for niceties. It's Victory Road. Here, it's catch or be caught. Wait, it doesn't work. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's nap or be nabbed. You saying these Pokemon gonna nab you? You you worried about the Pokemon coming to nab you in your sleep? Worse. Sponsors. Hey, you can upcoming trainer. You want to sponsor this newest product? That's how they get you. Is that so? Look, I know the Pokemon world has like weird, you know, utopian things where like you don't really need to worry about things like kidnappings. You're more worried about the ghost is going to take your kid's soul away by balloon. Yeah. But I have to imagine utopia, that there's yes. still there's still sleazy marketing guys who are awful that'll like sign you into predatory contracts. I want you. Crit, 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 crit. Crit, no, the science guy. Not a good joke, but still. You know, I'm gonna start off with some sleep and some YOLO balls. And it's gonna start off by killing your Nefertiti. There we go. I'm gonna throw the ball, and you're gonna get in it, okay? All you need to do is just stay asleep, take a nice little nap, and then you'll be on my team! And then I can name you Winston. Because I always have a Marowak- I always have a Marowak named Winston. Very. <laughs> <laughs> I am very okay right now. Darling has just received a, a, a boon. This is a sign from the Pokey deities that I am meant to complete my quest. <laughs> they have given me a blessing. They look a minky. Ground type. Alright. Now, do I go through this now, or do I go back and put Marowak in my party? I mean, if you want him to get any XP. Let's see how I feel after this battle. Because <laughs> you're going to have either some fighting or some- oh no, no you're not. Cersei's uh, low. I... A Persian? I will turn you into a rug, you Persian. Did that hurt? That didn't hurt? That didn't hurt? Okay. I am the one who hurts. I am the cool trainer, not you, Naomi. Yeah, Naomi. You throw a cat against my talking plant? How dare you? Well, Actually, plant... can they talk? No. Plant doesn't really talk. I mean, it makes noise, if that counts as talking. It says its name. That's that's enough of a conversation starter. <laughs> I do love that Poke- If you go with the old logic that Pokemon just say their name, it's pretty much just Pokemon naming themselves. Hey, what are you called? Oh 
Ponyta. Okay, cool. That one's a Ponyta. Scientific name. Check. Done. <laughs> Ready for a really weird opinion that I have? Yeah. I think that the taxonomic classification system of at least two word Latin style scientific names needs a complete overhaul. Okay, why? There aren't... It's gotten to the point where there are so many species. Why are you using a grass type against a fire type? That is an excellent question, because it swapped out the something else with the fire type. Well, I just um, thought I'd put it out there before you go down the tangent. It's, it's a good point. Tangent. It's a good point. There are so many species now that the names have less and less relevant to the actual characteristics and are more just there to distinguish it. They've lost their initial purpose of actually describing it, and now they're just creating distinction, which I think is ultimately betraying the point of the name. So either you just go with this, continuing to, you know, just make up all these things for it, or you find a new system and say, okay, everything's going to get named on the new system. Oh, wait, we already have too many species to keep track of anyway, so it doesn't matter that they all have names. Oh, hey, you got a Mankey. I got a Mankey. I'd rather have Cersei than a Mankey. Did you lose Cersei? No, I... No, I have her. Oh, oh, you're saying... Okay. I got it. Your name shall be... Uh... Tarzan? Woman. Jane? Woman Mankey. A woman Mankey? A woman Mankey. <laughs> what does Mankey evolve into? Primate. Primate. Um, what's a good strong female name? In literature, I can't think of one. Like, not that there isn't one. It's just not coming to me. Uh, Sakagawea. Sakagawea. I. I've heard it in museums. It's like Sakagawea or Sakagawea, and I don't know which one's right. So I'm going with the one that the museum person told me. Alright, well, I can't argue with that. I can't say that Sacagawea is the correct pronunciation. Um, no, let's not do that. I strong female character, but also don't want to denigrate anyone by accidentally comparing them to a monkey. So. Lady Macbeth? <laughs> Macbeth too. <laughs> Macbeth Jr. It wouldn't fit. Maybe one letter short. If you take out the egg. Um, there's gonna be other women. Um... You could do any of the Bronte characters. Any of the Bennett sisters. Uh, I've done Jane Eyre and I've done Elizabeth Bennett. Oh, I forgot you did Elizabeth. Um... Man, doesn't that just speak to the sexism inherent in the English language and literature world? No, I swear there's gotta be... I'm just gonna look up on my phone. I'm gonna look up strong Famous. female characters in literature. She-Hulk. <laughs> okay, She-Hulk is pretty B.A. though. And while she does that, I'm going to kick cool trainer Naomi back to her nerdy trainer Naomi days. Not that you can't be a nerd and cool, but Naomi was not cool when she was a nerd. She was really like, gatekeepy. I'll call her Eowyn. Okay. Okay. I am no man key. Exactly. That's a strong female name. And I get the O is supposed to be like a thingy O, but... We don't do that here. Close enough. Okay, I'm gonna swap out Lapras for Marowak. Winston? Winston? Uh, there's no flying! I wanna fly! <laughs> this is so annoying, and it's gonna only be annoying. Alright, so Ishmael, you go first. We're gonna catch another Pokemon in. I'm gonna catch my Pokemon. Oh, I should check out. what's in the uh, Poke Nursery. Ghastly. Is it Ghastly? Did I think Ghastly? No, 
extra ghastly. I'm gonna catch my victory road Pokemon and then I'm gonna go heal. And actually we'll probably end the episode there. Got it. And it's a Machop! I also don't want you! I hate fighting types with a passion! Acid. <laughs> Words hurt, you know. You're not a fighting type. I'm not. But I like them. Well, I'm not fainting them. Just not gonna bother to really, you know, use them all that much. Let's say a quick... A quick word to the lost. I mean, he's not lost, he's just... You had potential. You were just born with the unfortunate circumstance of being a bug type. Uh, Machop, I will name you. Broamir. <laughs> Not Boromir. Broamir. <laughs> if only we all looked inside ourselves and said, how can I be more of a Broamir today? I mean... Bromer. <laughs> How would I do Bromir? Well, Boromir was B-O-R-O-M-I-R. So, B-R-O-O-M-E-R? That's Broomir. <laughs> <laughs> Broomir. <laughs> you, you know what? You're just Bromer now. Oh, instead of Homer. That's a great one. <laughs> Good job, Gale. So literate. So erudite. I am an intelligent human being. Now here's the real question. Can I fly to Victory Road? Because if not, we're just ending the episode here. Pretty sure the answer's no. The answer's no. Next time on Gale and Darkness Sounds Like Adventure. Yes, we will see you all next time on Gale and Darling's Pokemon Nuzlocke Run. Bye-bye! Bye. Hi there! It's the end of the video, my friend. Hit the bell if it was okay. I'm sure I'll make good content someday. I'll play some games or do some drawing Pokemon and fights with darling video essays and reviews. I couldn't do it without you, so thanks. Like and subscribe.